some of you guys might know about this, but we had a Thanksgiving mac and cheese recipe where we added some, what we think are creative ingredients that caused quite a stir creative? on social media. None, yes. Uh, you've probably seen this comedian's response. It got over 11 million views. Watch. First of all, she put Gruyere in the macaroni and cheese. Gruyere? And I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe you switch the cheeses. I ain't tripping. But then, but then, she just, I mean, desecrated the mac with Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots. What is you doing? This ain't a casserole. This is a staple for Thanksgiving that don't need to be altered at all. Leave it alone. <laughs> Guilty. You think Guilty. Upset about it? You know what's really funny about that is we always say that about Thanksgiving. Like, don't do anything new, just uh, keep it simple. Well, we got to turn job to keep things, you know, make things fresh and new. But guess what, folks? Uh, yeah. Guess who's here? Who's here? Please welcome comedian Kevin Fresh. <laughs> Cheese. Well, I'm always making fun of videos on the internet, food videos, cat videos, all type of stuff. So people are sending me stuff, and it was the week of Thanksgiving, and everybody was tweeting me, Facebook messaging me, Kev, you got to see this video. Please talk about this video. Oh, so I watched it, and I was visibly upset. I don't know if you guys <laughs> Well, so what was the, the biggest complaint or comment you got? It was you just said? those two things. Vegetables in Thanksgiving macaroni and cheese. And then your face, Jeezy. You were, it didn't look like you was feeling it. <laughs> he you was not loving it. You, okay. you were just crunchy. Like, I was a little upset myself. I don't know why at the time. <laughs> that I did not add the vegetables because yeah, a lot I, of people I, blamed me for the vegetables. I might have been holding the sheet that contained the vegetables, but it was not. I didn't write it down on paper. Yeah. It, was a I didn't, it wasn't my recipe. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, but mac and cheese is something that I think is in a lot of people's families, right. their heart, their family tree, if you will. Yes. And so since you had strong opinions about our Thanksgiving mac mm -hmm. and cheese, uh, we want to know what you think about these Thanksgiving mac and cheese. Oh, no. All right. I'll take a look at this one. This is from Katie. Uh, this is Katie's breakfast mac no, and cheese. No, this wasn't for Thanksgiving. This was just a breakfast mac and cheese. Oh. See, Katie, I mean, you got raw eggs in the mac and cheese. It's, <laughs> it's getting baked, they call, Kevin. You can, baking is a good choice for breakfast mac and cheese. Raw eggs, oh, oh It's cooked. Yeah. See, it's cooked. I just. Yeah, I'm going to disagree with your choices here on this. <laughs> uh, breakfast is a breakfast. Mac and cheese is a mac and cheese. You can't cross paths on those. Not with, with eggs. He's the Simon Cowell of mac and cheese. He is. I don't know how I became this yeah. guy. He is. Yeah. 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 That's it. Well, Jeff, you're next. Uh, Let's take a look at Jeff's uh, Munster mac and cheese. Okay. See, mac and cheese, it's a yellow thing. <laughs> You got yellow, you got green sauce, you got green pasta, you got a blue spatula. After <laughs> Halloween, man. It is spooky. <laughs> I don't know if you know, which I guess you actually do know. Yes. Because we did what we do on this show. We did a, a discussion about what you would like to make. Yes. And you wanted to make, in your opinion, yes. the best mac and cheese. The best mac and cheese. Which would be? My grandma's mac and cheese. That's what we're okay. gonna do. Yes. Right? Okay. This is so, things I recognize. I don't see Brussels sprouts anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I recognize processed cheese. Yeah. And milk. some red lentil fusilli. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Katie and I, we have a love for processed cheese, yes. so we're ready for this. I want you to know, Kevin, we are just so happy that you watched and made that video. It's so much you. fun. Thank we want to bestow upon you a recipe that's going to be on foodnetwork.com. We're going to okay. call it Kevin's Grandma's Mac. Kevin's Grandma's Mac? Is that cool? Yeah. I'm going to call her. She's going to be ecstatic okay. about this. I there hope she likes the way I make it. Absolutely. Just tell her not to film herself making it for the public, because I'll be on fire. I see now, that. I now, you told me that your grandma uses just processed cheese and cheddar cheese, and that's it? Yeah, well, she finishes with some shredded cheese, but if you don't That's have what that, we're going to do. So okay, you're going to cool. shred. We're going to put you to work, because you know. OK. Shred the cheese. I'm in, I'm in the kitchen now. You are in the kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to. walk the walk. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so we're going to make a roux really quick to thicken up the sauce. It's just a roux. A roux. A roux. A roux. A roux. Okay. Grandma made a roux, I'm Grandma, sure. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So it's just one part butter, one part flour. You cook it until it smells like popcorn, if you ask me. Ooh. And the flour's all cooked out. Mm. A light, light blonde amber color is what we're going for here. And then I'm just going to add in some milk slowly with a whisk. 
This helps us not be so lumpy. And if you do it slow, you can really incorporate everything in. It really is smart to start with room temperature milk as well, not cold. So when you were cooking with your grandma, were you cooking or were you watching? Uh, I was mostly smelling. Um, <laughs> this is actually the most she's ever would ever let me do. The prep, so, right? Did you prep ever criticize you... grandma's cooking? No, I wouldn't. Oh. I wouldn't be standing here today <laughs> if I did. Okay. All right, so I've incorporated the milk in there. We've got eight ounces of processed cheese. You just cube it down. Mm -hmm. Get that in there. Looks familiar. Uh, now, you said no spice, but is pepper cool? Pepper's okay. Okay, because I... Just regular pepper, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. We're doing Italy grandma's mac and cheese. <laughs> We're just... doing family tree mac and cheese. There we go. Some salt. Now you're talking. Don't forget, there's going to be definitely salt in your processed cheese, so don't go too heavy. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to mix this, turn this up, and slowly the cheese will start melting See into See that smell this. right there? Does it smell oh, like... Oh, that's it. Uh, see, this is what cooking truly is you about. You know, it's just the bond. Yeah. I mean, like, we, we grew up together, Sonny, me yeah. and you, you know? All right, so look, you got enough cheese there. Okay. Uh, butter the bottom and the side of your pan. You said grandma makes it in an aluminum, aluminum pan, pan, so we're going to do it in an aluminum pan. All the way. Make Kevin, it legit. Haven't you much at home? I cook absolutely not at all. Oh. <laughs> I, I, he can dish it out. Yeah. <laughs> Can't take it. Okay, so, that's been that's been buttered by professional. You did it. Cheese is professionally uh, grated. Grandma, look at your grandson. <laughs> <laughs> really did. Helping out. All right, so we've got the elbow pasta, which you know I'm sure that's what Grandma was using, right? Yep. yep. Elbow, you get it in there, mm -hmm. boil it al dente because it's going to cook again. Just right. pay attention to the box. You've got your sides oh. buttered. You did a really good job. Thank you, Sonny. And then we've got the sauce. Yes. Remember, it's just the roux of the butter and the flour, and then adding in some milk, mm. that cheese. I'll eat it just like that. I like a stove top now. Yeah, you stove can. top. Yeah. This is where you stop if you just want a stove top. But everyone knows you're supposed to bake. You gotta bake Thanksgiving it. mac and crispy cheese. Crispy corners. Right? Gotta have the crispy corners. I like to give it a little, so it gets all into the nooks and crannies. And then look at your cheese, perfect. I'm, Come on, Kevin, help me out. There. I have a couple notes on his cheese grating ability. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I think it's gonna be all good. I think it's. I think we're all right. This is oh. legit. Dun, yes. dun, dun. Ooh, look at that cheese pool. Yes. <laughs> all right. So let me get you a nice little scoop out of this. You like the way it sounds sound? too. Yeah. That it crackle. Does. Oh. Do so you get good. that same sound when your spoon hits the Brussels sprouts no, too? No. <laughs> it does. No. It's like this crunch. It's awesome. It's so cool. Everybody's you know doing what? It. I don't like the Brussels sprouts on the mac and cheese either. You know Look what? We, that. Hey, we, we rolled the dice, and guess <laughs> what? We, you know, we crapped out. Thank I'm so you. nervous. No, you're, I think you're good. It, it's recognizable. Kevin? Looks familiar. You gonna make another video out of this? Of course. This <laughs> is a different <laughs> video. <laughs> Promise. This is sunny I hope production. you like it. And Grandma, I hope I did a good job. Mm. Oh, that's it. Really? That's it. Thank you so much. Oh. Before you go, we have one more mac and cheese we're going to need you to taste. OK. Because you can't knock it if you don't try it. All right. I'm Jeff, nervous now. Ready? Please. It's return of the mac. <laughs> Brussels. How do you like your mac and cheese? Ooh, the wait. ultimate Thanksgiving mac and cheese. Make sure there's cornbread stuff I yeah, got. Make sure you get a piece of Brussels off in Let there. Let me get, ooh, look at that. Ooh, that one's been that one's been desecrated. Yeah, look at that. Let me airlift some Brussels yeah, in there for you. Get a couple just more. We were having a good time. Yeah, we were. <laughs> we were hugging. You must not watch this show. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Hey, hey, be sure, yeah. I want, want to finish your lick it clean, brother. Oh. Gotta get some Brussels on that. Ooh. It's clean. It smells so clothes. healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what makes me nervous. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna enjoy it. I mean, it don't, does. Don't it lie. is fragrant in here right now with Tell the Brussels. The Thank you guys for having me. 